Hello there everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing the 2022 Gap Options newsletter tracking for the week expiring February 11th. This is for advanced trader results. I am going to show beginner results too, so don't worry. But this is for this one particular week of expiration. Again, we're doing the weeklies on the newsletter. This newsletter is for people that want to trade options. That's the bottom line. If you don't have time to come to the trading room, if you don't want to do the class, because the class is a prerequisite to the trading room, if you want to do options, say you have a small account and you want to have a starter beginner account that you could open up a cash account where you don't need margin because you need margin to do the equity trades in the live room, you can trade options in a non-margin account. You can set up an options account as a margin account, but the trades aren't going to be a margin, all right? It just gives you the flexibility, or you set it up as cash, okay? So talk to your broker about this, but there are so many different ways to trade gaps, and this is one of the ways that I've been trading them, and they are very profitable, particularly if you get a week like this where we had all winners, 100% win ratio, return investment was 76%, and again, the gaps were going in our favor. The biggest wins that you ever, ever have, which you will have inevitably if you sign up for the letter with me, are when we get a gap overnight that goes in your direction. You're already in the trade. I called it, for example, on a Monday, and it continues into the direction of the gap on the next day, overnight. That is where the big money can be made. How do you know it's gonna happen? You have to be on the letter. You have to dig the trades. So again, this is for the week expiring on the 11th, okay? So, if you have questions, you can email me at melissathestockswitch.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. And again, it's been a good year to trade gaps. We've had a lot of volatility. Volatility means profits for people that know how to trade, which of course I do. If you want to learn my strategy, you would sign up for the Golden Gap course. This is a class that I teach once a month. The class for August is August 27th and 28th. There's only a few more classes left this year. So if you have questions, please reach out. You can always call me, you can always email me. And again, if you leave a message, I will call you back within 24 hours. So let's talk about the trades for this particular week. Was it a good week? Yes. February ended up being an extremely good month to short. That's when we had that big drop off, remember, in the market. So again, win ratio for this week was 100%. How many winners? Eight. How many losers? None. Zero break evens, total eight trades, and advanced trader risk is an average of 8,000 per trade. So the profits this week, again, at 76% return investment, 49,075. Again, this is a risk per trade of 8,000. And so let's take a look at what we had going on here. Wednesday the 2nd, oh, I remember this week, this was the PayPal week. PayPal, we did the PayPal 145s. It was put, it was a put. We do put some calls, but this was a good week to do shorts expired the 11th, called it February 2nd, exit February 8th. Again, this is the 145s. Cost was 11.50, seven contracts, cost 80.50, sold at 23, profit 8,050. If you can't watch what's going on, put a sell order at 100% on every trade. If it fills, it fills that day. If it doesn't, get up the next morning, put the sell order at exactly what it was for 100%. Say you buy something at a dollar, put a sell order for two. It's a day order, it's a cancel order. If you're working or can't watch it or you're on the road, then you can do it, uh, then you can get out of it, and if it hits, and if it doesn't, you put the order in the next day. It will cancel itself, is the point, into the next day. So this was the 145s. So this was a nice gap when we did this. Again, we have the date is the second. So we did not do this before the earnings. You, nobody knows what it's gonna do in the earnings, so you wait, could have been a call, all right? So anyways, here was the drop, the 145s, got the drop, 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 drop. The nice thing about this trade, this had momentum in the daily chart. It kept going the whole month, actually. I mean, look at where this ended up going. It's ridiculous. Um, and this is, I mean, so I say this, this is one of the trades. Everybody made money with this that did it. You couldn't have screwed this up. No matter what you did, it was perfect. And actually, you could have got out the last day of expiration and made more. Look where it was like 110 or something, it's ridiculous. $35 for the strike in the last day. You're not always gonna have a perfect exit and you, and you can't hold something the last day unless there's a reason for you to do it. This was a great trade, it really was. 
Then we did the 140s. Again, sometimes I will call too. It kept moving in the morning. So then I called a second strike, which was farther away at 906. Again, you can't take the trade to the open. It was the ones that expire on the 11th. It was a put. Again, we did the weeklies. This was eight dollars. This wasn't cheap. This wasn't cheap either. Contracts was 10. $18 was the sale price, 10,000 profit. Return on investment, 125%. The same move you're capturing. Say I call a trade. And you're like, oh, that one's pretty pricey. Do a farther out. Do a farther out strike. If it's going to work, it's going to work. If it goes in the right direction, if it goes quickly, which this did. This worked in the day that I called it, followed through. You could have done even a lower strike. You could have done the 135s, the 130s, if you didn't want to do the 140s. This was a nice trade. Again, momentum. We play the gap. Not all bearish gaps fall. Not all bullish gaps rise. You have to look at them and rate them. And I look at criteria to do that. That's what I did with this. But again, that's something you learn in the class, in the Golden Gap class. And if you're interested in that, you can email me. This is the newsletter strictly. Netflix, we did the 425 puts. This was on the same day, later in the afternoon, and it worked. This was good timing on this, actually. I, I, I was watching the PayPal was going on. This was really good timing. Cost was 11.50, seven contracts, risk was 80.50. Sold at $29, profit $12,250. Return on investment 152%. This was a nice trade. So this was a Netflix's. Again, this was February. Gosh, seems like a long time ago for this sucker after what this chart has done. Hmm. Oh, no, that's, here we are. So I call this a little late in the day. But again, got it. Knew it would follow through, and it did. Boom. So this was a good one. Again, another one where you really couldn't have screwed it up because it kept going. Those are the best ones. Those are the great ones. This was nice. Then the February 250 puts, called again on the 3rd, expired to 11 type was a put. Again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful move. Fell, dropped. Cost was $14, six contracts, risk was $8,400, sold at $28, profit $8,400, return on investment 100%. Called it on the 3rd, exit on the 8th, here it goes. Here, again, this is Facebook, get the drop, boom. So again, this was the day of the earnings, so I called the 250s. You could have done a lower strike as well, but here's the push, you get the drop. Then we did the 360 puts, the QQQs called in 23, exit 24. So expired 211. Cost is 650, number of contracts $12. I mean, a 12. Risk was 7,800, sold at 1050. Profit $4,800. Return on investment is 62%. 62%. So again, this was another, another market trade. Another market trade, really, really good. Two, three, two, four, let's find it. Here, get the drop. Nice. Again, this is a 360s. Let's see where it went. Spy 450 expired February 11th. Call this in the morning, 845. This was a put. 525 number of contracts 15 risk is 7875 sold at 850 profit $4,875 return on investment 62% again another winner beautiful beautiful move this was the spy 23 close to your gap down fell again 450 get the drop boom out done again we're looking for momentum in a put, it's selling. In a call, it's buying. Then we did the QQQ strike 353, expired to 11, 915 in the morning. Okay. 380 is the cost, 20 contracts, risk is 7,600, sold at four, profit $400, return on investment 5%. This was one where it didn't go as much as I thought it would, it did go. Wait until the very, very, very last day got out of it with profit, but that's why the profit was so low, but it did work. So this was 2.8. And again, even though this had the move in here, it just kind of ran out of time, ran out of time here, but it did hold the value to exit it actually the last day. 
with something. It wasn't a loser. Netflix 395 strike expired 211 puts. Again, called 28, exit 211. Cost was 625. 12 contracts, risk was 7500, sold at 650. Profit $300, return to investment 4%. This was a similar one where you're waiting for it to go to get a bigger move. And then, of course, it kind of squeezes it out. I thought this would go bigger, but it was profitable. Here, this was right in here and here, here into the drop for the last day, which was the 11th. That's the red bar here. Again, take it over, see where it's at. It was around 380. It's Maybe I should have done this one out another week, actually, looking back, because I see where it went here. But it was it was something. It was money. Now, if you want to sign up for the newsletter, for the 12-month subscription, you would get the trades emailed to you in live time. Annual subscription is $69.99 a year. Trades are emailed to you. Email me, Melissa, the stockswish.com to register. Sign up early. If you want to get the trades, you sign up today to get tomorrow's trades. And then the half annual is the only other option I have. There's no monthly subscription and no trials. $49.99 for six months. This is a lot of time, actually, on the newsletter. You would be on the newsletter for six months into the beginning of 2023. And I'm telling you, it's a lot of trades. This was a good week. This was a solid week. We had some nice movers, 100% win ratio. Again, you can reuse a lower risk if you would like to. Email me if you'd like to sign up at melissa at thestockswish.com. Again, this is the second week of February. We will continue with the rest of the month shortly.